Well, I have very fond memories of my time here. As a result of that, I suppose I'm a bit passionate about the university, about the law school in particular. It was an important time for me and actually as I look back, I realise more and more how important it was. I couldn't be doing what I'm doing now if I hadn't gone to Edinburgh Law School and got the education that I had there. Edinburgh Law School was established in 1707. For over 300 years, it has provided an education in law for many of the world's finest students and scholars. The work of the school is firmly rooted in the great historic tradition of Scots law, but it is also European and international in outlook. On the 16th of November, 1789, the university laid the foundation stone for Old College and commenced on a great visionary project to house its students, teachers and faculties within an outstandingly beautiful Georgian building. Nowadays, some 1,300 students and 90 academic staff study and teach in Old College. The school has grown into the best in Scotland, a leader in Europe, and is rated among the top 30 in the world. Today the school is renowned for its teaching and first-class research. Research that is both local and global in its impact. The redevelopment of Old College will recreate an outstanding building in which to continue to pursue teaching and research of world-class quality. Well, I see 2020, which is the, the, the period in which the refurbishment is meant to be finished, I see that as a kind of rebirth moment for the school and that the funding campaign is going to help us, support us in reaching our ambitions in terms of ensuring that there are sufficient bursaries around to allow the most talented students to come with no financial barriers to deter them from studying at Edinburgh. It's going to enable us to develop further our pro bono work and our free legal advice centre, things that are really important for the local community. It will help us develop our lifelong communities with our graduates as they go on into the wider world and it will also help us develop the law library to make it one of the great European and world law libraries. So that for me is um, why the fundraising is so important. For me personally, the law school gave me a training, it's something that I could then go on and make a living at and I've been doing that for the last 40 years. The professors that were here when I was here were in some senses real larger than life characters. So I studied with Neil McCormick um, and if you want someone who created intellectual stimulation, um, he really was the man. One of the legends, and I really believe that's the right word, one of the legends of the professors was uh, Professor Bill Wilson. He's another um, person who created strong memories, very dry wit. Sadly, I was never part of his tutorial group, so I didn't get to visit his palais de joie, as he called it. Other memories, obviously, are chats in the law library. There was a fairly grotty cafe along at the end of the uh, faculty where we used to have hamburger rolls at lunchtime, you know, incredibly healthy. So we'd heard that um, the Law Library has a limited pot of money for all the books and services it provides. And the Law Library is so important to us as law students, it's like it's the hub of the law school. So we just wanted to make a little difference and we donated to the Law Library. So it was just a really nice thing to do because we really appreciate the library and everything that they provide for us. This law faculty deserves 21st century facilities and it's only going to attract the best students and the best academic staff if it provides those kind of facilities. It's important to my mind that those who have benefited from the law school in the past and the university in the past invest a little bit in providing the same type of uh, high class world beating facilities to the next generation of law students. Well I decided as a contribution to the, uh, the new uh, law library that I would sponsor a seat in lecture room 270 because I have very vivid memories of sitting in that lecture theatre. My husband and I uh, developed our relationship in Old College Lecture Hall with Bill Wilson's mercantile law classes and so the idea of buying um, 
effectively two seats in a lecture hall is, is, is something which gives me immense personal pleasure. It's great to have scholarships and bursaries that enable people to come and study with us, but we also want them to feel comfortable to come and do so. And I think that the combination of raising money to enable that and make it possible for people to access the education that we provide, irrespective of their backgrounds, and at the same time in an environment that they feel comfortable coming into, is part and parcel of what we're trying to achieve. When I came to Edinburgh Law School, there were still government grants, and I was incredibly lucky to have a government grant. I'm donating because I want to see Edinburgh Law School continue to give benefits to future students. It's part of our heritage and that's why I'm giving. Pro bono activity is extremely important for our students. It allows them to put into practice all the legal work that they have actually learnt throughout their degree course and the best way of learning is by doing. We offer our services to people who find it very difficult to access the legal system and it's something that the community not just needs but deserves. The Law School of the University of Edinburgh is proud to have its home in this historic beautiful building. The school's history and that of its alumni is now built into the very fabric of this building. Along with enhanced bursaries and scholarships, as well as properly supported pro bono activity, this redevelopment will renew our school for generations of scholars and teachers to come.